Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to create a business unit in uh, Fusion. Business unit is equivalent to operating unit in uh, EBS. Operating unit or your business unit can be anything. It could be a division, it could be a department, or it could be a specific uh, business within your organization. So there is no hard and fast and uh, rule with regard to setting up of a business unit. Anything can be set up as a business unit. It all depends on your business requirement. Now let me show you the steps involved in creation of the business unit. The first step is to create a location, and then you can create a business unit. And the third step is to assign certain business functions to the business unit. Now let's start with the first function: how to create a location. Search for uh, task of uh, manage locations. Go for the task. Search manage locations. Manage location. So this is click on create. So this is a screen where you create your location. There are a lot of fields in the location setup. So I'm not getting into the details of all these uh, fields. I I'll just focus on the uh, critical fields. So the first part is the uh, location name and code, and then the address. So I just want to set up a location uh, for an address in uh, say city Irving and uh, located in Texas. So let me just say Irving. Texas as my location name, location code, and then I do not have the complete address. So what I can do is I can search with a zip code. I know one zip code which is 75014. Yeah. So as soon as you enter your uh, zip code, your state, city, and county gets defaulted. Okay, as for success and one is concerned, which is a street number. So let me enter say something. Okay, and uh, shipping details, ship to site, receive site, bill to site, office site. So these are all defaulted. So just leave that uh, as is. You can click on save. Enter a unique location. Oh, looks like I think this is already entered by somebody. So let me give a name as say Erwin one. Save your say changes were saved and then click on review. Review your details and then click on submit, which is the last step. So once you click on submit, uh, a job gets uh, triggered behind the scenes. So just click on yes. Okay. And the next step is to create the business unit. So click on done. So let's say manage business unit, manage business unit. Okay, click on plus to create the business unit. So just keep the name. So I just want to give a business unit for uh, my Reliance company. So I just want to give the name and say Reliance Telecom as my uh, business unit name. And uh, the manager is the person who is in charge of the this business unit. So this is just a optional field. If you want, you can enter. Otherwise, you can leave it blank. And location, even though it looks optional, but if you do not enter the location, there are some practical uh, difficulties when you are creating an I expenses, uh, when you are creating your expense reports, and a couple of other uh, functionalities. There is a practical difficulty if you do not assign a location. So let's assign a location to this business unit. So just click on the drop down and uh, enter the location whatever we have created earlier which is Irving Texas I think Irving 1 Texas yeah. and there is something called uh, default set default set is nothing but your uh, reference uh, data sets so reference data sets are basically a way of grouping uh, different uh, configurations so just give an example, like you have some something called your AP payment terms, AR payment terms, AR transaction types. So if you have a requirement, so take just payment terms as an example. So in EBS, payment terms are global. They are not OU specific. 
but uh, within fusion if you want you can define separate payment terms for different ous so the, the way it can be done is say for this particular bu i give a default set which is a different uh, reference uh, data set so let me assign a default set of say i can create my own default set or i can just pick up one of the existing ones so there is a seeded oracle provided default set which is common set so i am assigning this particular reference data set to this particular reliance telecom ou so let us assume i have another business unit which is a reliance textiles and for reliance textiles i assign a default set of say uh, something else some abc okay so reliance telecom is associated with this reference uh, default set of common and uh, reliance textiles is associated with the default set of abc and when you are creating the actual configuration say payment terms you have an option to select the reference data set so if i create a payment terms of say 30 days net and if i select a reference data set as say common so that means that particular payment terms is 30 days payment terms is available to use only under my reliance telecom uh, business unit i will not be able to use that particular uh, 30 days payment term in my reliance textiles bu so that's the significance of the default set and if i assign a default set of say common here and if i use the same default set name if at the release extends as well then that particular payment term of 30 days net can be used in both the ous or both the business okay so that's the significance of the default set now let me click on uh, save and close okay again looks like this is also again used by somebody else so let me give a name as Reliance Telecom 1. <clears throat> okay. and the last step is to assign business functions to BU. Assign business unit business functions. So that's the name of the task. Assign business unit business functions. Okay. So when you do this, uh, from the main task, assign business unit business function, you get this message, assign, you must enter a business unit ID. The reason being, for certain tasks, you should be defining those tasks or you should be uh, entering the data under the task only from the implementation project. So here, I, I did go to uh, assign business unit uh, functions tasks using the global search. But there are certain tasks which are specific to an implementation project which should be done only from the implementation project okay now let me go to my implementation project products and uh, this is my implementation product let me click on this argon fusion implementation and i can search for the task here assign business unit business functions <coughs> so you have task under procurement as well as finance so pick any one so let me pick this financials assign business unit the business function so here you have something called scope so click on the scope select your business unit select and add so my business unit is reliance telecom one This is my business unit. Save and close. Go to task. Uh, no, this is not my business unit. So let me cancel this. Send business information. So let me select my business unit, select and add. So 
Reliance Telecom One. That's my business unit. Select this, and I should click on Save and Close here. Okay. So this is my now business unit Reliance, Reliance Telecom. Okay. So these are the business unit functions which I can assign to my business unit, and this is the primary ledger and default legal entity. So this is again a, a similar functionality within EBS as well. Whenever you create an operating unit, you need to assign the uh, default uh, primary ledger as well as the default legal entity. And this is a new concept within uh, Fusion. You do not have this functionality within EBS. So here, basically, what you are trying to say is, what are the business unit functions which can be used by this particular Reliance Telecom? So let us assume you want to implement this Reliance Telecom only for, say, AB. Then you need to check this checkbox of payables invoicing and payables payment. If you do not check these checkboxes, then if when you are trying to create your uh, configurations for AP in the drop down, you will not be able to see this particular business unit. And let us assume, like now you have taken a, uh, a decision that you want to use Reliance Telecom only for uh, AP. So you continue these steps and you continue entering, uh, continue these steps, complete the business unit uh, definition, and then you start entering the transactions under Reliance Telecom uh, under AP. And in future, if you decide that you want to use Reliance Telecom even for AR as well, then you can again come back to this particular screen and then you can uh, check those the AR related uh, business unit functions, whether it could be a, a billing and revenue management or sales, uh, there are a couple of other business unit functions. Now I want to go with only uh, payables invoicing and payables payment. And then select my primary ledger so my primary ledger is uh, reliance the ledger us i can click on save and close so let us assume you have a uh, couple of other uh, business units wherein you want to perform the same function so what you need to do is again you can click on the selected scope uh, click on uh, the assign business unit function again click on select and add apply and go to task select your business unit function uh, the, the business unit and then complete the setup and so on so basically those steps which has this selected scope so those tasks with, wherein you system uh, forces a user to select the selected scope. So those are the steps wherein you need to definitely perform those steps only from the implementation project. And all other steps which, which do not have this uh, selected scope concept. So for those uh, uh, tasks, you can do it from the global search. Okay. So this is how you create your uh, business unit and assign the business unit uh, business functions. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video for interesting uh, videos on Oracle Financials, please do subscribe to my channel and please do not forget to click on bell button to get notifications on my latest videos. Thank you.